Hi, this is Charlie again, just with another little speech just to express uh, my latest uh, thoughts about um, that which I feel I've discovered about myself, about you guys, about all of us together in this experience called life. We could go back all the way to the Big Bang, to when you, I, everyone we know, every single galaxy, every single star, planet, grain of sand was compressed into something that size. And if you ask a scientist, like, why, um, what, why did the Big Bang happen? No, they'll tell you because there was a singularity of infinite mass and density which just went bang. And if you ask why did they go bang, there, there's not really an answer. The best answer I've heard for the, the Big Bang is that um, it's just one of those things that happens from time to time. Either at the very beginning there was going to be matter, there was going to be energy and vibrations and, you know, the universe, or there wasn't. Uh, the very fact that you are here listening to me right now, that you're watching my face move and think of thoughts which come from somewhere else, thoughts just going through my head and into yours right now. So, yeah, that was just, some people say it was just by chance. Some of us, we've, we've gone through this before and we start to remember really that, you know, death isn't the end. We've all done this many times before. Um, there's not really anything to be scared of once you remember how divine and special you are. But it can seem very scary to those who don't see those people. As Bill Hicks says, who have a lot invested in this ride, who have their furrowed brows of worry, who think that it must be real. And it does turn everything on its head for everyone. And this is why you do get opposition from people who think you're crazy, who think you've gone down too deep, you've gone in too deep into all this uh, thoughtfulness. Um, but it was Socrates himself who said, the unquestioned life is not worth living. Well, the, the Greeks killed him, and the Romans killed Jesus, and the CIA killed Martin Luther King, and the crazy man killed John Lennon. So there is, there does seem to be a, an attraction to great good from the unhinged. And I like to use the word unhinged because it means that you've almost, you've unhinged yourself from the tapestry, the fabric of reality, and then you suddenly gravitate towards someone doing something good or doing something bad, and then it explodes. So, um, what was I saying at the very start then about the, the Big Bang and us all coming from a pea-sized uh, singularity? Well, if we take that to its logical conclusion, are you energy? Are you matter? Are you both? Are you actually a person? Are you the source of everything that's actually happening in your life? Are you creating this reality as you go along? Are you seeing the signs that are embedded in your consciousness and also in the physical world around you, giving you signs, giving you a guide as to what you should do. Let's talk about love. You know they call it falling in love. And it's, it's true, you, you fall in love. And is there one person out there for you? No, there isn't. There's a multitude of people who are amazing, just like you are, who you can fit with who you can make a life together, but just don't try doing it before you're ready because we all need to grow and realize things for ourselves before we attach ourselves to another human being. And this is why we see so many breakups and divorces and animosity and children being separated. So don't latch onto someone until you've realized who you are. And um, this is why I'm single right now, because I'm still growing. I'm still uh, maturing like a cheese into that which I believe would be a, a useful uh, addition to um, someone else, really, just now. So where am I going with all this? I guess what I'm trying to tell you is um, there's no really easy way of putting this across, but everything you think you know about reality, everything I thought I knew about reality, knew about reality, was actually upside down, actually a mirror inverted image. If we are all one, if we are all matter condensed to a slow vibration, to borrow another phrase from Bill Hicks, if we are that, then we are always that, we will always be that. And the fact that you're conscious as a human being now is merely the collection of atoms that make up your structure 
interpreting the signal that is the one consciousness coming through your brain and putting it out into the real world. So, yeah, have no fear. You are God. You created all of this that you see around you. You created me. Right now, watching me, listening to my voice, is because you were always going to do this, and I was always going to stand here holding out one arm, and then when it gets tired, hold out the other arm to convey this message to you. So, everything is on its head, everything is upside down. What that means is, things which we think are bad are actually good. So, dying before having kids, dying tragically when you're young, seeing a school bus of children plunge into a lake, these are things to test us because we go, those children have hardly lived, like how can they get taken away in this horrible accident and die in cold water or so forth, or how can we see someone who's before their prime get snuffed out like a bug, like an insect, just gone? Well, we've been here many times before, we've all been reincarnated, and the people who die tragically young, that's their exit back to the One Consciousness. And those of us who live a long life, invest lots of money and time in having children and educating them and getting the cycle going and impregnating people and, or getting impregnated and carrying the cycle on in the physical world, they're just people who haven't yet figured it out yet. So if you feel depressed, if you feel down, if you feel that life is all, all meaningless, it's because you're an old soul. You've been here many times before, you've seen it before, you've seen the absurdities of it, you've seen how being well adjusted to a sick society does not make you well adjusted, it makes you sick as well. So for all my friends out there, for all the people who like the videos, and for all the people who I smile at, for all the people I care about, just um, see the signs that are very apparent in your day to day life and do what you consider to be good and then things will be revealed to you. And also look forward to death, embrace it. It's something new, it's something exciting. And if it comes soon, if you suddenly feel yourself having a heart attack, don't panic. It was all according to plan anyway. So ask yourself this and then I'll, I'll stop the video. If you have free will, how come you can only will one thing at a time in a long conveyor belt of things that you've willed? And how come things lead to another willing down the line? If you are merely matter condensed to a slow vibration, where do your thoughts come from? Where does a thought for me to touch my head right now come from? Electrical signal, but what caused that electrical signal? What made me want to do that? Was it all planned all along? You find out.